praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, um, the Lord Jehovah, El Yon, the Lord Most High, the Lord Jehovah El Olam, my God and my sender, the one that sent me to speak to these nations, Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, the greatest commander of the hosts, the armies of heaven. He did speak with me uh, this past night, and in this conversation, uh, I see that he is sending me to a meeting somewhere, and it is a conference. It looks like it's a conference. And then as I enter at the meeting and uh, begin to minister in that conference, and as I lift up my hand to pray for the meeting, then the historic anointing of the Lord before the meeting, strikes the meeting like this. And this tremendous visitation of the power of the Lord as the Spirit of the Lord strikes the meeting, falls over the meeting. And it's a very historic moment to behold the greater anointing of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And there is this woman I see who has tied the hip on the back, so she collapses as the Lord has touched quite a lot of people, and she falls down. So I keep saying, hey, please take away the baby, take away the baby. The baby is crying. She, she had a baby tied on the back, and she goes down. Behold, the baby is safe. So, so please untie the baby from the back, I say these things. So there is a historic, a very shocking anointing that is coming, bigger, greater. These things will take place. I walk into a meeting, and I pray for this meeting, and then a historic anointing from heaven hits the meeting in a very shocking manner I've never seen before. So, this is going to be very big. I do not know whether it's the meeting in Amsterdam or it's the end of year meeting that will take place at the Nakuru main altar, the conference, the New Year's Eve conference. But I see that very historic visitation of the Lord, even as I prepare to leave, to leave to Europe. These things are going to happen. These things will happen. They will take place in the church. And the Lord is saying that this is the hour of the latter visitation. The latter visitation that was promised in the Bible. In fact, this latter visitation is currently the main theme of the conversation that the Lord is having with the church. The latter visitation, the role of the latter visitation, the coming of the Messiah. How this latter visitation is designed to prepare the church, to prepare the nations in absolute righteousness and we all know that every act of righteousness indeed constitutes a holy act. Righteousness is justice. It is being just, honest, and holy. So this latter anointing is essentially to prepare the church, to prepare the nations, for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Again, I don't know which meeting it is. The lady that is touched, she ties a baby on the back. I don't know whether in Europe they really tie their babies on the back. It looks more like something that might happen here. I, I hope, maybe probably it's going to happen in Europe. But it's, she's dark-skinned. So, one of the two meetings, either the end of year, New Year's Eve conference, in Nakur, at the Nakuru main altar or the meeting in Amsterdam. But whichever way, let the Lord have his way. 
and prepare the nations by the tremendous historic visitation of the Spirit of the Lord upon men. Because I walk into this meeting and as I pray in this meeting, as I pray, lift up my left prophetic arm like this, and then the tremendous shocking power of God hits the meeting, and everybody almost goes down. Everybody. And then uh, there's this woman, the baby's crying, you know. I say, please remove the baby. Untie the baby. She had tied the baby on the back. I do not know if in Europe, they tie their babies on the backs, but in Africa they do. The women do. So wherever the venue will be, may the Lord have his way and prepare the nations. I have seen the Messiah coming. The Father has spoken with me about the coming of the glorious Messiah, the glorious return of the Christ. He has spoken with me by voice about the coming of the Messiah. And time is winding down. We are counting down until when time will surrender. But the Messiah is coming for a holy church. This is the one about whom it was written in the Bible. It is written. I will send my messenger ahead of you to prepare you away before the glorious coming of God. That is God the Father speaking to the Messiah, that he would send me to prepare the way for the Messiah, that when the Messiah comes, the nations will have returned to righteousness, faithfulness, obedience, holiness, and shunned wickedness, apostas, lies, false prophecy, sin, evil, and everything that does not glorify the Lord. May those that have ears prepare their hearts for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Shalom.